Oh, we just got to continue to build, man. It's just, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be a, a smooth sell. Um, we, we need days like this because once we get it and we figure it out, uh, we already been through the tough times. James, you had that stretch in the second quarter where it seems like you started to get into a, a rhythm of sorts. Just what, what do you think started to work for you there? Just being more confident, being, being more, being aggressive, and it's getting better every single game. Like as much as I want to get back to just you know 30s and 40 points, you know what I mean? It's like I can't do that. You know what I mean? Uh, just I mean as much as I want to, obviously would love to. Uh, I had no no opportunities to play pickup or nothing this summer. You know what I mean? Everything was a rehab for three months. Uh, from a you know a grade two injury that happened three three times in one season, so um, you know this is my fifth or sixth game of trying to just play with competition and play against somebody else. And as much as I want to rush the process and be back to you know hooping and killing, it's like you now take a time. But this is all going to make me stronger at the end of the season. So um, I just embrace moments like this and things like this, and I just keep pushing through it. It was obviously the. Uh the roster doesn't really profile as a as a great rebounding team, but I mean more than just like physicality and positioning. Steve was talking about guys kind of leaking back up court, mm -hmm. you know, rather than coming in. Is that more of a like a team mentality thing mm -hmm. than it is a, a roster thing? Yeah, that's just something that we gotta we gotta preach and talk about every day until guys get it. Like we can't go anywhere without getting this rebound as a team. You know what I mean? Like no matter how tall you are, what your position is, when the shot go up. You got to go help get the rebound, and we got to just keep continue to preach it every single day until we we become a really good defensive rebounding team. Or not even great, but just good enough to where you know what I mean we can get the rebound and push the ball. So, and that's that's the game right there. If we rebound the basketball, I think they have seven, six or seven offensive rebounds in that first quarter. You know, we we it's a different outcome. I feel like, uh, and we're not trying to climb back and, and fight back. Um, you know, in that second half. So, uh, great learning for us. Kind of talked about this a little earlier, but because of the injury, I mean, you know, this was the, the hamstring. This was the first time with it you've been hurt essentially in a while. Is it fair to say, you know, what you're going through right now, trying to get yourself back into a groove and all this kind of uncharted waters for you because you haven't really dealt with this before? Of course. <laughs> uh, my career, I've been blessed, you know what I mean, just not have any surgeries or whatnot. So just, just that whole process last year was just like frustrating and draining. You know, I love to hoop. Like, I, uh, if, if it wasn't for the money, I'd still be hooping. You know what I mean? So it was frustrating last year. It was draining for me uh, to know that I couldn't be myself and be out there on the floor and be, you know, the, per the player that I am. Uh, but I'm finally, you know, slowly getting b back to it. You know, it just it takes a lot of hard work and, and dedication, and it's going to happen. But you got to just continue to, you know, keep fighting for it. And uh, I will.